Okay, welcome everyone to a new video. This video was made because we got a special request in the Discord. I will show it real quick here. So, you can make video suggestions and if they are good, if I've got the time, etc. I will make it. So today we will go through how to pixel search on the screen for a certain color using Outed X with C Sharp. So you have to have Outed installed. I have made a video on how to get Outed and use it in C Sharp. So if you don't know how to get your own OutedX.dll file, I would deeply recommend it to watch that video first. I will link it in the description. But when, when you have done that, we'll make a new project, Visual Studio. So, create a new project. I will be using Forms apps, since it's more fun. And we'll call it, click on color. Taking a bit. There we go. Okay, so we'll add a button like this. We'll re change the text to pixel. So we'll click on a spe specified pixel when we click on the button. To get to the button code, double click on the button in the design then it will take you here to button, button underscore click but first of all we'll add our outfit x dot dll so go to references uh, right click add reference now click browse if you have downloaded it in a default Location, then it will be in the Windows C program files. Out it free. Out it x. Out it x free dot dll. So you just have to remember where you install it. Now you need to have your own out it installed. I cannot give you my out it x dot dll since you will get errors. Uh, I did that before by mistakes and I got a lot of complaints. So now when we have the output x the x free dot the uh, added to the references, we can use output x free library. And after that we'll define it. A3 equals new out it. There we go. So every time we need to use the library, we'll just write A3. Now we can move down to the click function. And the pixel or the coordinates or the pixel search whatever it will end up in a object so object call it pix equals a free dot pixel search now when we do pixel search you will see that it takes uh, five arguments and two enums or whatever you call it and the first four is the coordinates for the rectangle that we will search it so it's on the screen what you see now and it goes from 0 0 to down 1080 pixels and to the right 1920 pixel that's if you have a full HD monitor, 
1080p-i but if you have your you have to set in your own resolution here so we start at zero which is up here it searches down so it goes each line search for the color so we start at zero zero then we go down oh no we go to the right first so my resolution is 1920 and or by 1080 so it's 1080 down and 1920 to the right now we need to search for the color and for this video this thumbnail that I used I will use this color and to easily get the color of this or some other disconnect we'll use the auto hit window tool a very handy tool to have and it should be installed if you have auto hit now drag the finder tool to the pixel or wherever that color is which is here and we go to the stat status bar then toolbar then mouse here the position cursor id and color will be displayed so double click here on this it will copy it and we can close that down now just go back to visual studio and paste it so this is the color that we will search for and we could add variations and end step I don't know what end step is but variations it so if it is a close color it will register as a match but we'll skip that for now we just want 100% correct answers so now when we have defined picks as the search we'll ask if picks and now we do to string and it will display as a number or whatever so if it display displays number one it means we have an error and then we shouldn't or we haven't found anything and then we will not move the mouse or click or whatever you want to do to that place so if it isn't then we will move on so this is not this would be if there is an error this is if it's not an error so now we'll cast this pix to an object which we can use so we call it object or object with these ones since it has it's kind of like an array it works like an array and object and pix a lot of stuff happening in the discord I see <laughs> and now what we can get is the x and y coordinates so it's uh, stored in this array that we created as an object array so now we can move the mouse to that place and we'll have to write int because mouse move takes integers and I don't know what recorded this one as but cast this as an integer and I oh, forgot pixel code and then we'll select the first item in the index which is zero after that we'll do the same so we can just copy this paste it and select 
the second one, the Y coordinate. And last of all, we can choose the speed. So let's, we'll have it slow for just to show. And let's start it. And we need the color available. And let's click the button. Ooh, that's low. <laughs> okay, so it moves to the pixel. J let me just change that speed a bit. To 10 milliseconds. We we'll started now. Click on pixel. That's much faster. So it moves the mouse to that pixel. So why it didn't take or move the mouse to this pixel is because it moves downwards. It doesn't go upwards. So it searches every pixel from left to right then moves down. And if it finds a pixel which is here it will return these coordinates instead of any uh, or any else coordinates. You can change that with from bottom to up pretty sure. So it's your choice however you want to do it. Now if we wanted to click on this coordinate we'll just a free dot mouse click first we'll have the argument what button so we'll use left and now comes the coordinate so we'll copy paste the coordinates and how many clicks uh, let's say one and the speed to one so it will be instant. Let's make this as a comment. Uh, it just so this wasn't or this one isn't in use. Now let's test it again. Click on pixel and it moves to that place. It it do uh, create a click. Uh, mouse one click or left click but we don't see it since it's Photoshop and we don't have anything that should show up when we click on it just like this so I hope this tutorial was to any use and I will see you guys later thank you for watching